posting videos to Discord can be difficult because of the platform's notoriously low file limit. With the information you learn in this tutorial, you should be able to compress 1-2 to two minute videos in pretty high quality and videos up to 10 minutes in uh, okayish quality. I'll be using a program called Handbrake. Handbrake is really powerful at compressing videos. It's also free and open source. I'm gonna assume you know how to install a program, just go to the Handbrake website and figure it out. When you've just installed Handbrake, there are some uh, preferences you should change. You go to Tools, then Preferences. In general, you can turn on Dark Mode if you want to, because it's good. Then, in Output Files, this is the most important one. Set the MP4 file extension to always use MP4. When it's set to automatic, it always does M4V, and the Discord doesn't recognize the file if it's M4V. A setting I also recommend changing is the default path. You can set it to another folder so that it doesn't fill up your entire videos thing. When you first open Handbrake, you just have to drag and drop the file you want to compress. For an example video, I'll be using Heavy is Dead. Now that we've done that, it's time for the actual project settings. The first thing you should do is turn on Web Optimization. In the Dimensions tab, you set the resolution. First, you set the height to whatever resolution you feel like. 720p is a good one. But don't just use 720, I'll get back to what resolution you should use in a bit. Then, under Output Size, you see the what the width should be. So then you set the width to that number, or else it'll look weird. Quick note, Handbrake will automatically crop out black bars, which is great, but it gets it wrong sometimes. So double check if anything is cropped out, and if it's wrong, then fix, just set it to zero. Now, in the video tab, yeah, just use the default x264 for the codec. If you're wondering why we're not using x265 instead, it's because Discord doesn't support h.265 yet. For the frame rate, I recommend setting it to the same as source. You can limit it to 30, uh, but going from 60 to 30 only makes a 20% difference in my experience, which isn't really worth it for that extra smoothness. Two very important settings are encoder preset and encoder profile. You should set the encoder profile to high, and to the encoder preset, you can set it to anything between medium and very slow. The slower options make the video more efficient, gives you better quality for the same file size or same quality for a lower file size. Using constant quality is very common for compressing videos, but when it comes to Discord, which has a very low file limit, it becomes a guessing game of what is above or below the limit. So for this, it's much better to use bitrate. Uh, remember, for the bitrate, turn on two-pass encoding. It'll make things look much better. Choosing bitrate can be hard. So I made a spreadsheet that tells you exactly what bitrate and resolution you should use. I made two spreadsheets. One is for shorter videos, up to two minutes, and the other one is for longer videos, up to ten minutes. The spreadsheets are divided up into the length, the video bitrate, the audio bitrate, and resolution. For the resolution, I have two categories, actually. I have one for general videos, and the other is for game recordings. Game recordings typically need much higher bit rates because the camera is constantly moving. For the audio, I recommend you use AAC, and uh, just, just follow what I say in the spreadsheet, it should be pretty good. 96 is what I'd call high fidelity audio. 64 isn't too bad either, and 32 is when you just don't have enough bits. To get to 32 kilobits, just set the mix down to mono and it'll show up. You can also directly pass over the audio using auto pass through. This will mean you won't lose any audio quality at all. Just be careful if the source video has a too high audio bitrate. You can check the bitrate of the source video by clicking here. As you can see, Heavy is Dead is at 127. When you've finally done all this, you can press start encode. This might take a few minutes, especially if you use the slower settings. Then just find the video. It should be in your videos folder if you didn't change the directory. If the video is a little bit more than 8 megabytes, just lower the bitrate by like 10%. If it's a lot bigger than 8 megabytes, maybe use a lower tier. Check if you did something wrong that shouldn't be happening, I don't know. Just to give you an understanding of how it works, I'll uh, show you an example of me doing Heavy is Dead. Heavy is Dead is a little under 3 minutes. So that means I should use 262 kilobits per second for the video bitrate. Uh, and I should use 64 for the audio bitrate. There isn't a lot of camera movement, so I should use just the general video resolutions. This means that I should use 
480p for the resolution. According to Handbrake, the width should be 853, but Handbrake can't do odd number resolutions, so we'll use 854 instead. This is what Heaviest Dead looks like as a 3 minute video. Please, not dead. You are dead. If the video was 10 minutes, it would look like this. Even at 10 minutes, it's not too bad. If you don't want to come back to this video every time to check the spreadsheet, you can make a preset. To make a preset, first you set the video settings to whatever you want. I'll use one minute as an example. For a one minute video, I set the video bitrate to 874. Then you open the preview panel by clicking here. Then click on add. Call the preset whatever you want, I'll call it one minute. I'm going to make a new category since I don't have one at the moment. Set the resolution to custom. Set height. I'll be using 720, but you can use whatever it says in the spreadsheet. For the width, just use this if the height is this. And you set the audio bit rate. I'll use 96. You can make as many presets as you want. Make one for every minute, every category of video, every resolution, everything. It's good. Now you should be able to compress basically anything to under 8 megabytes. If you have any questions, you can just comment or join my Discord server and ask there. I'll make a tutorial later about WebM and more advanced things. So until then, goodbye.